This is an ABC Action News Tracking the Tropics update. Sponsored by these valued partners. How you doing, everybody? I'm ABC Action News Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips. We are tracking the tropics, and we obviously have a lot to talk about. The area in red right here, I think this is right on the money in terms of eventual track on whatever this system is. Whether it becomes a wave or a depression or a tropical storm, its name would be a Dahlia or potentially even a hurricane, and that is on the table. This is the track. Now, the way I see it right now, if it were more in line with a landfall near the Bay Area, it would be a weaker system. Stronger tropical systems are drawn poleward, more toward the north. So if this were to get stronger, it likely would go more to the north. If this would stay a little more ragged and weaker, it would take more of an easterly track. So I think if the Bay Area was impacted directly, landfall, it would be as a tropical storm, there'll be power outages, There'll be a lot of rain, five to six, seven inches of rain, and some coastal flooding at high tide on Wednesday. If this were to become stronger and go on the west side as a hurricane, I think the impacts would be much lower for the Bay Area, at least inland areas, coastal areas might still get some wind and some rain out of it. But still pretty ragged. It does obviously look better organized now than it did yesterday, and we think that trend will continue as this low, wherever it develops, eventually pulls north. And at that point, landfall timing and heaviest rain for our area looks to be later Tuesday, Tuesday night and Wednesday. Franklin out in the Atlantic east of the Bahamas expected to become a hurricane, but poses no threat to land. Keep it right here 24 seven for the latest on the tropics.